Hello everyone, I'm Foray, and this is Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth. And apparently we are at Arkham Asylum. Now, at my end, I can fully see. My last case opened in me a new fear, a real fear. A fear of myself, what I am, and of what I've always been. All that I was is now lost. Hope. Purpose, pleasure, all meaningless. I now walk in the shadows between worlds, and it is there I have finally glimpsed upon what lives in the dark corners of the earth. It's the namesake of the game. If you don't know Cthulhu, what's wrong with you? Um, he's basically the most uh, well-known character of H.P. Lovecraft. And if you don't know H.P. Lovecraft, he's considered the godfather of modern horror. So we're gonna hang ourselves? Get saved. I can barely read that. Oh, it's what he just said. The the cutscene, I guess. Yeah, I've played this game before. Um, I don't think when it came out, but it was some time ago. I remember really liking it. But let's see if it aged well. Six and a half years ago. We already had bad head writing. Hand writing. What did I say? Head writing? We're here to investigate some cult, I think. Cthulhu worshippers, probably. Robert, this had better be good. What's the beef? Sorry, Jack. We had to call. This fellow will only talk to you. Name's Victor Holt. Don't know any. Victor? He's the leader of this weird cult that moved in here a few months back. Got about 20 followers. Cult. They've been causing trouble all over town. Stealing I've, I've almost got to 50 trash, followers. Hanging around outside people's homes at all hours. No one ever presses charges, though. They're a screwy bunch. They've got the local scare. So tonight, we were just passing, you know, doing the normal rounds, when we heard gunshots fired from their property. Gunshots? Hang on there. No one said anything about gunshots. Who have we got out here? Yeah, just me, Nichols, and a few new recruits. Well, that's just great. Nichols. Lead the way, Robert. It's one of the recruits called Penny. <laughs> okay, let's beat him. Oh, shift is sneak, not run. Hello. What's taking him so long? Something must be wrong. Evening, Jack. Glad you could join the freak show. How's it looking, Henry? I don't like this one bit, Jack. Check the alley on the right. Victor Holt's over there in the shadows. He's waiting for you. Can we trust him? Nope, but we've got you covered. You better take it slowly, though. They're a bit twitchy. Alright. Oh, but I remember that this game is... Uh, a first-person... shooter slash puzzle game? Oh. Well, this seems bad. The focus isn't really on the on the shooting. If I remember correctly.
Hmm. All right. As I continue to translate the narcotic fragments, I become more and more eager to contact my Yithian masters. Mm. These beings truly are gods to us. Their intellect and knowledge surpasses ours in ways impossible to comprehend. I know now just how insignificant mankind is in the universe. A doomed and simple species thrown up as a side effect of an experiment by the Elder Things. It is a blessing that such flawed creatures as ourselves have such a short and limited future. Yeah, this is very typical of uh, H.P. Lovecraft. It's existential horror, I think. Oh, there's a save point. That simple strange. Looks almost like a flaming eye. I should take a closer look. Yeah, that's where we save. Running low on ammo. I tried recording this game yesterday, but it kept crashing on me. Let's hope it runs okay now. The bars are good. Hello. Maybe don't, don't shoot. Mm. Ah, we've been expecting you, Mr. Love. Yeah, that was expected. What I meant to say was don't sneak up on people with guns. Key. Could come in handy. Yeah. Oh yeah, the hint system is on. So I know where this goes. In here. In here. It's unlocked. Take this key. Another key. Hmm. Oh, this is us. Oh. Okay, so they're investigating me. But I was the investigator. It's unlocked. That seems out of place. drawer holds an ancient manuscript. The symbols on the front seem to be written in classical Greek. All right. There are definitely some strange sounds coming from this side of the room. Oh, that's a trap door here. Shit. Yeah. Did not Let's head down into the ominous basement. Oh, the stairs break? Well, that's just swell. Oh, hello. How are you doing? Uh oh. Lots of dead bodies. And medical equipment, it seems. Well, hello there. Hmm. Do I press this? Sorry, dude. Oh, my face is going blurry. Probably my sanity. It feels like it's gonna collapse at any moment. Yeah, it basically did already. Hmm. All right. It's a similar shape to the slot upstairs. Okay, so we need the crystal too. There's no power. Okay. We take this one. Ah, it's too hot to pick up. Yeah, so probably the one. There's. We we'll take this one. The crystal's still warm. And 
we go. Place the finger with chicken here. The shape to the slot upstairs. Yes. I for inventory. And so this. Narcotic helps block pain. That says healing, probably. And the stuff we collected. Alright, okay. oh. There we go. And now press this. Uh oh. Oh. Hello. Hmm, that's right. Can't read the text. Goes too fast. It's been more than six years since I entered that strange house in Boston. Mm. But to me, it was just five months ago. Amnesia, the doctors called it. Probably brought on by acute mental stress. I remember investigating the far side of the library. There was screaming. But you don't remember the beings? According to the police report, they had searched the house for hours, only to find me later collapsed on the floor. When my eyes opened and I spoke, my colleagues recoiled in fear. There was something unnatural in my voice and blank gaze. They committed me to an asylum, where I was diagnosed with severe schizophrenia. Hmm. As it became clear that I presented no danger to either myself or others, I was released from the asylum's care. I have learned little of my activities in the six years that followed. The accounts I've been able to piece together show much of my time was spent in travel and study. I maintain a fanatical infatuation with the occult, delving deep into volumes concerning witch cults and dark legends, often in languages unfamiliar to my own. When I reawakened five months ago, exactly six years after entering that house in Boston, no trace was left of what had been a secondary personality. I was myself again, or at least what I believed myself to be. Return to normal life has been a painful process. In recent days, my dreams have been plagued by cosmic landscapes, and I've become fearful of my own reflection. I am beginning to remember things from that day, more than six years past, that I've told no else. That's strange. Jack Walters. Uh, hello, Mr. Walters. My name's Arthur Anderson. I need your help finding a missing person. I don't take that kind of job. Did you get my package? Um, uh, hold on. We always threw it in the bin. What exactly do you want from me, Mr. Anderson? Um, it's one of my store managers, you see. Brian's his name. Brian Burnham. Nice lad. He disappeared recently from the first national grocery store in Innsmouth. Innsmouth? Eh, never heard of it. I have. Uh, it's a small fishing town on the coast, not far from Arkham. Uh, I'd like to see you in person before you leave. 
Hold on there a minute. I didn't agree to take this. What the it's hell? a pretty Don't prominent place in uh, Lovecraftian lore. Where the fishmen live. Night. I have a new client, Mr. Arthur Anderson. The regional manager of the first national grocery store chain. It appears that the first national grocery in Innsmouth was recently burglarized and the manager one Brian Burnham is missing. From what I've been able to gather, Burnham is something of a young rogue, a friend of the family. Mr. Anderson gave him the job as a favor. Right. Burnham is a is looking like the prime suspect for the robbery, but there are a few things that don't add up. Not Anderson and not me. Not to Anderson and not to me, okay. For instance, why would Burnham force an entry into the store when he had tools? Full set of keys, free access to the cash register, and the combination to the back office safe. To misdirect any investigation? If that was his plan, why did he disappear? Right. Following my conversation with Mr. Anderson, I found out what I could about the ancient town of Innsmouth. For generations, the crumbling seaport and its people have been shunned by neighboring communities. Outsiders are unwelcome there, and there are superstitious superstition superstitious tales. I don't think that's what it says. Of a strange element in the town's oldest family. Uh, they are mixed blood. So the stories go, whatever that's supposed to mean. Fishman. The usual big town prejudge. Pre. No doubt. Sorry, I'm dyslectic, I don't know. Some words. After making a brief visit to Innsmouth, my clients came away distrustful of the local authorities. He isn't buying their line that Burnham robbed the place and wants to know what happened to him. Only one bus goes to Innsmouth and tomorrow afternoon I'll be on it. It feels good to have purpose after five months trying to break through my amnesia. I also feel a little apprehensive Maybe it's the wild stories about the town, or maybe it's just because I haven't had a case in so long. Right? How do I click out of this? Escape. Good to know. I'm not gonna even try to read this. He sounds like a fisherman. Oh yeah, I remember this town. 
He doesn't have a head. This is it, stranger. End of the line. Alright. Do we get a good look at him? I'm not controlling this, by the way. No, yeah. Oh, he's here. No, he doesn't look too fishy. Um, so we head to, to the hotel, I guess. Any safe points anywhere? Yes. And this is where I'm going to end this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video and want to see more, please subscribe. Leave a like and a comment. Uh, it really helps. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye. This is a message to everybody watching. If you liked what you saw, please consider liking the video, commenting or subscribing. If you want to get notified when we upload again, hit the bell icon. Thank you very much for watching and you can expect us in the next video.